Hi, I'm going to run through all of the exercises in the seven minute series all together. So if you want to lie down on your back with me, this is the first one, lying flat, which aligns your spine and allows all those muscles either side of your spine to relax. Rest your hands on your tummy. You can just look up towards the ceiling, close your eyes, and we'll take a few breaths here. As you're breathing, encouraging that lower back just to settle. It's nice to have your knees bent here. You can stretch your legs out if that feels good for you. Mostly if your back's been hurting, bending your knees and resting them together with your feet slightly apart is a good position to begin this lying flat first back exercise. Breathing into your belly one more time. That's good. All right, the next one is our pelvic tilt. So bring your feet and make sure that they're underneath your knees. You're gonna tilt the pelvis by pushing the back down towards the floor, scooping your tummy in, and then release your back to breathe in. And as you breathe out, you're gonna push your back down, zip up your core, squish your back into the ground, and release to breathe in. Let's push the back down. Pelvic tilt and release to breathe in. Let's push the back down again. We'll do two more of these. This is such a good one for your lower back. Release to breathe in. And one more time, you're pushing that back down. Good, and releasing to breathe in. Well done. Knees to chest. Our next one's knees to chest. So as you just bring your legs up, we're going to start pulling those knees in towards the chest. So breathe in to prepare. And as you breathe out, pull your knees tightly in towards your belly and your chest. Release your knees to breathe in. And now pull your knees in to breathe out. Good. Release your knees to breathe in. And pull your knees to breathe out. Release your knees to breathe in. Let's do one more. One more should do it. Pull your knees and release. So your back feels a nice massage on the floor. Now cross your ankles for our next one, which is knee circles, and open your knees out just to where they fall naturally. And your knees aren't pulled in, but they're just pointing up towards the ceiling with your arms fairly straight. Now we'll do some circles with those knees. Pretend you've got pencils taped to your knees and you're drawing little circles on the ceiling with those knees. Maybe three or four circles in one direction. And then we're going to change the cross of the ankles because that creates a different weight on your tailbone. We're massaging the area around the tailbone. Lots of nerves crossing that area. And we're releasing the nerves and muscles as well with this gentle knee circling exercise. Okay, releasing that. Put your feet down. Take a breath before our next exercise which is your um, one knee to chest. So pull your knee to chest, I'm using the right leg, and stretch the left leg along the ground. So as you straighten this left leg and you pull this right knee in stronger, you're gonna feel the stretch coming into the left side, into your psoas muscle or your hip flexor. So that's where we're stretching here with the stretch. And we're gonna circle the ankle. This gives you something to do while you're doing the time in the stretch because it's important to stay in the stretch for at least 30 seconds or more. Let's circle the other way, nice slow circles. It releases your ankle as well. Good, let's change sides. So pulling in now your left side, left knee, and stretching your right leg along the ground. Activate your foot. Pull that knee in a little bit stronger. And now we're gonna circle that left foot around the ankle. Circling round your ankle. And let's circle the other way. That's great. Let's release the legs down and take a couple of breaths into your belly. And one more breath. 
Now we're going to go into the hamstring stretch next. It's important to have these hamstrings at the back of our legs here, nice and flexible in order to have a nice uh, healthy back. So I'm straightening the right leg. I'm just going to hold it as straight as I can, sometimes using a strap around your foot or a towel, a small hand towel behind your leg will help if you can't reach your leg easily. So holding on to that leg and stretching. If you'd like to stretch this bottom leg out, that's not a necessity, but it feels quite nice to stretch both legs. So see how that feels for you. If you'd rather have it bent up, that's your choice. And while we're holding here, you're stretching all these muscles, the hamstrings behind, attaching to the knee and attaching to the sitting bone. Let's hold it for three more breaths. Bend. And now straighten up your other leg. You can stretch that left leg, hold that leg up. Feel the stretch, it's connected from your sitting bone to the back of your knee, your hamstrings. That's where we're stretching. Try not to bend your knee too much, so you're wanting to get a fairly straight leg here. You're lengthening these muscles. Again, you can straighten out your bottom leg if you like. That feels good. We'll do three breaths. And bend up your bottom leg. Put your feet down. Our last thing we're going to do is just a nice stretch. It's a twist. So take your knees over to the right side. You can choose to have them down here or you can bring them up before you take them over. So I'm going to put them down the right side, trying to keep them together. That's difficult. And then stretch your arm along the ground. If you don't have enough space where you are, you can hold your shoulder and just pull to your elbow. And this twist is releasing all the way down here. It's releasing the spine. It's realigning the spine. So let's hold it for about three breaths as well. And then we're going to take the knees up and then take them over to the other side. Just put them over where you can reach. You might need a support underneath your knees. You could use a cushion or a brick under there if it's too far to go over. Try to hold them down and take your opposite arm out to the side. It's good to look towards that opposite arm to bring the stretch into your neck as well. Do three breaths here. Great, and then you can just come onto your back again, resting your hands down. That was your first seven minutes of um, back care. If you can do more, come on and do the core with me, the Pilates core exercises. There's some other exercises to do to strengthen, but well done for doing these first few together.